review. Sup, supplement review. What's, what's up, up? What's, what's up? up? Let's talk some sups. What's, what's up? up? What's, what's up? up? We talking sups. sups. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's the supplement review. Supplement review with Megan Hashami. Today I'm talking be supreme. Be supreme. Hey guys, it's me, Megan Hashem, and today I'm talking Be Supreme. This Be Supreme is by Designs for Health. Um, I think that's a Canadian company, I'm pretty sure. This is made in Canada, it's a Canadian product. This bottle cost, I think, about $30 Canadian, so $30 for a bottle of 60 vegetarian capsules, so they're vegetarian. Usually I see designs for health at naturopaths' offices, but I do see online you can order it for about $30 Canadian, 60 capsules that lasts you two months, basically, because you're supposed to take one a day. It says, help support liver function. Well, that's not why I take it. <laughs> B Supreme is basically a mixture of eight vitamins which form the B complex. B Supreme, it's a mixture of different B vitamins. This one also has added choline and trimethyl glycine I never get that word trimethylglycine which helps with um, your body using those B vitamins optimally why do we want a whole B vitamin supplement like this well number one vitamin B and all its different vitamin B's contribute to a healthy metabolism so all the functions in your body are working properly with vitamin B it boosts energy that's I think a lot of people know it as the energy booster supplement right people go get B injections all that stuff energy definitely it's supposed to up your energy how does it up your energy well it helps your body use all the stuff you eat amino acids proteins carbs fats all the stuff you eat vitamin b helps you use that stuff properly it's also known for making your mental health good so optimal mental health brain function and feelings of well-being so that's good. It balances female hormones, especially during pregnancy, menopause, menstruation, all those times. Helps with blood sugar levels, so it can help if you have diabetes or anything veering towards that area. It's an antioxidant, so it fights cell damage and supports the immune system, so it's good, so you don't get sick. Production and maintenance of healthy blood cells and joints and that's about it now why would you need vitamin b how do you get deficient in vitamin b how is through aging stress poor nutrition some medications uh, yeah so if you're not getting enough vitamin b and the right type of vitamin b in your foods then you might need to supplement and you know a lot of people say they feel such a big difference when they take vitamin b i don't know if i've really felt that but I just feel good taking it, right? I take one a day, let's see if that's right, because sometimes I just take one pill a day of everything and you're supposed to take like three a day or something, adults. One capsule a day with meals? I'm reading it in French, wait. Take one capsule a day with a meal or as, okay, so with a meal. So I usually take it after my first meal. Let's take it right now together. <laughs> But in the sink, I'll take that. There's the pill, that's how it looks. All right. I will tell you, this makes your pee like neon yellow. Super neon exciting yellow. Um, so there's that. I'm not, I don't really notice much else when I take it, but I don't know, I like to take it. It's got all the B's in there, B2, B3, B6, biotin, B12, calcium, choline, trimethylglycine, and folate. There's some folate in there. Where do you find vitamin B in normal foods? Beef, liver, seafoods, green leafy vegetables, 
some whole grains. So that kind of tells you almost everything. I don't know if that helped you at all, but you can research that a little bit. But there's a lot of like liver meaty type things. But I did read a little bit also about getting like vegetarian options of B vitamins. Um, but it is a lot in meat and like fish and seafood. But green leafy vegetables, I know they're good for everything. I mean, they have all the vitamins. So just be sure and eat those green leafy vegetables for sure. Get that kale in. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you're feeling low on energy, if you're feeling like things might not be working and maybe you don't eat a ton of liver, <laughs> B Supreme is the answer, and I think this is the best vitamin B you can take because it's got them all in there, and it's got those other things that, that make it work. I don't know if I'm helping here. <laughs> Anyways, B Supreme, I like it. I take it. Check it out. Try it out. Some people say they get amazing energy boosts by taking this. I've never had that, but I would like it. I mean... I'm all for that. I'm excited. Vitamin B, energy, woo! Yeah, I'd like some of that. So um, yeah, Designs for Health, B Supreme, helps liver function also. That's not a very sexy use. I'd rather go for energy and metabolism, brain activity. That sounds sexier. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for another review next week. Let me know what you want to see me review because I will take requests. I'll review something. I usually just go into my cupboard and grab something I take. But I mean, let me know what you want to see because I probably have it in that cupboard of lots and lots of these um, supplements. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you know when I put another video out. And we'll talk soon, guys. It's such a good name, right? Be Supreme. We want to be, be Supreme, Be Supreme. I think there's a rapper named Be Supreme, isn't there? Anyways, Be Supreme. It would have sucked if I dropped it because it's a glass bottle. That would just ruin my day. <laughs> supplement review, Sup supplement review. What's, what's up? up, what's, what's up? up? Let's talk some sups. What's, what's up? up, what's, what's up? up? We talking sups.